Hey everyone, I'm back with another Pick a Pile reading today. So this reading will be about what will your wedding day be about? What would it be like? What's the energy of it? So we are going to get into the energy of it with the energy oracle cards and then we're going to clarify like other details with the tarot decks and then at the end I will use the charms to get additional messages for each group. So take a moment to clear your thoughts and Focus on the person that you want to marry. Embrace that energy. And then ask spirit to guide you to the door or doors that they would like you to select to receive the messages that they have for you in regards to your wedding day. Once you have selected your door or door, we will get started. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna start off with the green door. And let's get a little insight about what your wedding day will look like, what it would be like. We're gonna get into the energy and then clarify with the tarot decks. And then at the end, I'm gonna pull some charms to just get a few more messages. So I've already shuffled the cards. So we're gonna get started with the energy oracle deck. So what would be the energy of your wedding day? So we have the thinking woman and the fifth chakra. So what I'm getting is that this wedding may be in the springtime just because there's a butterfly in the background and then she has like green and that makes me think of like flowers, grass, so it may be a spring wedding. And then also I'm getting that you two are going to think a lot about your vows and what words you want to say to each other when you are looking at each other before you say I do. So it seems like behind the scenes you're definitely going to think about what do you want to say in your vows. They're going to think about it as well. But also you're going to put a lot of time and energy in it. You're going to write and really journal what it is that you want to say to your person that day. Let's see what other messages we have. What will the wedding day be like for those that selected the green door? What will their wedding day be like for those that selected the green door? Beautiful, we have the star. So this talks about um, hope, faith, purpose, spirituality, renewal. So there is also a chance that some of you may already be married and you're going to renew your vows, but this is definitely for the people that are single and are curious to know what their wedding day would be like. So you're definitely going to have just the overflow of just love and just passion. It also seems like some of you all may have like a beach wedding or a wedding near water just because there's water here and there's water in the background and you see the trees. So this is, I'm definitely getting like spring, maybe early summer vibes from this for those that pick this pile. Hairstyles for the Divine Feminine, I'm getting that you may have your hair down or you may have it like in a bun. I'm getting like colors of blue as well. That might be a color or green. The next card that we have is the Two of Pentacles. And with the Two of Pentacles, this definitely talks about um, prioritizing and time management and making sure you get the right things. So you're definitely going to be making sure you're picking out the right flower, the floral arrangements. Um, you're going to make sure everything is pretty much perfect to your liking. And you're going to put a lot of time and energy and effort into it. You're going to figure out what do you need to focus your time on more so that's going to be something and it seems like the day of the wedding you're going to just kind of do a final run through of everything to make sure everything is the way that you want it to be but don't stress yourself out is what i'm getting for that beautiful we have the ace of swords and if you notice there's like a heart so the bride or the person that will come down the aisle 
with flowers if you choose to have flowers you may have either red or white roses or a combination I know that's something that I want in my arrangement and you are marrying your divine counterpart with this crown here you are marrying your divine counterpart and with the Ace of Swords, it just talks about breakthrough success. So it's like you finally have met the one. You finally are marrying the one. The day is finally here. And I get the blue flower or the blue water uh, energy here too. So some of you all may be marrying by a beach or somewhere where there's water or like a beautiful fountain. So that's super exciting. Let's see what else. One more card. one more card and then we'll get into your charms okay they gave us two more cards so we have the seven of wands and the queen of cups and with the seven of wands it talks about perseverance and just being courageous so it seems like you may be a little nervous that day you're gonna just have like a lot of emotions all in the air and you're counterpart may feel the same way as well but spirit is saying that you too will be courageous and get through it you will overcome your fears it also seems like you may need to take a drink just because the queen of cups has like a cup in her hand so you may need to have a little champagne or have a little wine to calm, the, calm your nerves and if you don't drink alcohol you can always drink like soothing tea is what i'm getting and then with the queen of cups being here you're, de you're definitely compassionate and caring and stable and so you are going to find your balance that day. You're ready to marry your person is what I'm getting, which is beautiful. Lovely. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the vibes that a lot of you all will have your hair down. You'll wear your hair down. Um, it just it seems like a common theme. Very few of you will have your hair in a bun, but some of you are going to wear it down. So now let's get into your charms and see what additional messages that spirit has for you. right let's see what charms we have so the first charm is a fairy uh oh we have a fairy and this fairy is going to guide you and protect you during this time she's going to help calm your nerves during your wedding day is what I'm getting so that's beautiful the next charm we have a cat so this may mean that you know you have a cat and your cat the day of the wedding if you or like you know a few moments or days before your wedding if you do have a cat kind of like just play with your cat and just like use your cat as like a, a therapy um, like animal at that time they're animals can be very supportive and soothing for us when we're like stressed or have anxiety so it seems like your cat or a spiritual cat is going to ease your nerves. And if you have your wedding like outdoors, like in the farms or like the countryside, there may be like random cats like squirming around too. We have the letter Y, I believe. Yep. And then a little bunny. So this may mean that you two already have a child together or like right after the wedding, that wedding night may be the night where you conceive and you might start a family like right after that we have a butterfly transformation so this is a change for you too and your connection we have an owl and so I kind of got like that vibe too like some of you all may have this wedding at nighttime is what I'm getting you might be like night owl so you might prefer like a later or evening wedding so you may have your wedding in the evening time or like late night. And then we have the Eiffel Tower, which is in Paris, France. So you can either have your wedding there or you can have your honeymoon in Paris. It's a beautiful city and definitely talks about, um, I feel like a lot of you all may like art as well, like historical art and um, just seeing historical places. So that may be a great place to have a honeymoon. So this is just a quick overview of how your wedding day will look like, what it would be like, the energy of it. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Please 
um, share any comments below like share subscribe thank you so much for tuning in and i'm going to go on to the next group peace love and light all right so this portion of the video will be for those that selected the blue door so we're going to start off with the energy of your wedding day and then clarify with the tarot deck and then i'm going to pull some charms to get additional messages for you all so let's look into the energy of your wedding day What would the energy of their wedding day be like? So we have strategy and then third chakra. So there's a lot of planning involved and there's a lot of yellow here. So you could definitely have your wedding in the summertime. I'm also getting the vibe that some of you are going to have like a wedding planning like binder or like book or something to make sure that everything is organized and you have all the information that you need. You may have like a Pinterest account kind of like pinning pictures of what you want and then on your wedding day you're going to be you're going to feel very confident in everything you're going to feel confident about the person that you're marrying about yourself like how you look in your wedding attire is what i'm getting you're definitely excited and um you're eager to marry this person is what i'm getting you have so much confidence and your your self-esteem is very high you're, you're excited to be doing this which most people should be when they're wedding, when they're getting married. But, you know, a lot of stress can come up. We have the King of Swords. And so you are marrying your king. And if you are a divine masculine, watching this for your divine feminine, you're marrying your queen. And with the King of Swords, this talks about mental clarity, um, authority, and truth. So you know that this person is the one for you, that they are going to express their love for you and their vows, their vows to you. They are going to show you every day for the rest of your life that you made the right decision by choosing them by allowing them to be the one that is your life partner that's what i'm getting let's get another card one of the cards just flew out we have the ace of pentacles beautiful and with the ace of pentacles it talks about you know, a new opportunity, manifestation, abundance. And so this person that you will be marrying, you're going to have that abundance with them. They see you as someone that is very beautiful, very abundant and nurturing. And your wedding day is just going to be full of a lot of flowers. So a lot of you are going to have a, a lot of flowers within your wedding. Um, it may be outdoors, too, is what I'm getting. And you may have like a headpiece. So you may wear a veil or you may have like your own little, um, wow, beautiful. You got the four of wands and this is like 1111 11, twin flame energy. So for those that pick this pile, you could be marrying your twin flame or your divine counterpart. And this is just basically saying that this wedding here, this is the wedding of all times because this is such a harmonious union. This is a harmonious energy and that you two were destined to be together you two were destined to come together and there's so much yellow here so you two radiate so much life and sun and joy is what i'm getting it's going to be a beautiful day the, the weather will be nice like i said flowers so there's definitely going to be a lot of flowers involved at this wedding this is a beautiful reading else we have the four swords so this is definitely saying that make sure that you get a lot of rest before beforehand because you're going to be very tired that day there's a lot of stuff that's going to be happening your energy is going to be all over so you want to make sure that you get rest the day before and then after your wedding of course make sure you and your partner rest up because you're going to be very tired and a little bit of drain and you don't want to um be too super tired to where you can't enjoy your honeymoon Okay, so let's get into your charms to see what other messages here it has for you. All right, so we have an angel wing. So Archangel uh, Shamu may be with you at that time. You have that angel wing. And then also there may be other angels and archangels with you during that time. 
we have the heart so this is just, just clarifying that this is a love of a lifetime this is the perfect perfect connection for you two meaning nothing is perfect but this is just saying like you two are meant to be together and then we have a fish so there is a chance that when I think of fish too I think of like a pregnancy so you may have children right after you get married so you, you may conceive like literally on your honeymoon we have a frog and the frog makes me think of I don't know like just jumping and taking a leap of faith so you may have been nervous about something or um afraid but you're gonna jump into it you're gonna just you know take it take let that fear go and just jump into this new this new union with your person i'm also getting this for a handful of people that some of you are going to jump the broom it's a um those who understand what that means they will know if that's for them or not so if you don't know what jumping the broom means then that probably is not for you but those that know what that means they will know that part may resonate with them and may be for them and then last we have a key so you have the key to their heart and they have the key to your heart and you also may be moving into a new home like right after you get married that's what i'm getting to so i hope this reading resonated with a lot of you all this is this is beautiful a lot of beautiful energy here but make sure that you you know give yourself a break and you rest beforehand and not stress yourself out okay so i really hope this all you all really enjoyed this please like share and subscribe thank you so much for tuning in and i'm going to move on to the next group peace love and light all right so this portion of the video will be for those that selected the brown door so we're going to start off with your wedding day's energies like what would the energy be like on your wedding day and then we're going to clarify with the tarot cards and then at the end i'm going to pull some charms to just get some more messages about your wedding day so let's get into the energy of your wedding day what will be that energy for the wedding day for those that selected the brown door Ooh, beautiful cornucopia so a lot of you all will be showered with a lot of wedding gifts is what i'm getting wow beautiful and then we have caring connections so a lot of you all will be showered with a lot of gifts definitely um beautiful flower arrangements it definitely seems like you're gonna have unique flowers for your wedding day. You're not gonna have like the traditional roses. You may have very unique flowers. Um, that's what I'm getting. And then it may be an outdoor wedding also. That's a possibility. Or just maybe in the summertime just because there's so much yellow and sunshine here. It can kind of also be in the fall just because I'm getting that these are unique flowers and we have like the the things on the ground so like you know when the fall happens or autumn some people call it autumn the leaves fall off the trees so there's a chance it could be summer or the fall time is what i'm getting and then with the caring connections there is a huge chance that you all will be just enjoying each other you're going to be so happy and excited for this day to come you've been waiting for, waiting for it for a very very long time and you're just you're ready to marry your person so let's clarify with the tarot deck we have the page of wands Sorry for the shaky camera. And with the Page of Wands, this is just talking about, you know, enthusiasm or just being excited, um, discovery. So you're just so excited to take this venture with each other. You're excited that you have found each other. It's like you have waited for a long time and you finally have this caring connection. You finally have this true love that you wanted for a very long time and that they wanted for a very long time. Here's what I'm getting. And we have the Page of Swords. And with the Page of Swords, 
you know, this talks about, you know, new ways of communication or just new ideas, curiosity. And it seems like I'm kind of getting the energy that some of you all are either younger than the person that you're thinking of or the person that you will marry will be either younger than you or you'll be younger than them. But I'm definitely getting like someone is younger and this this like connection or you two just may marry young is another thing as well but take that part how it resonates and it just seems like there's so many um I'm, I'm sorry I'm just looking at the cards there there's so much love in these cards there is the day is going to be full of so much love is what I'm getting Wow, three of cups. So this is definitely going to be a time of celebration, a time to just party and have a good time. So you all may have a great wedding reception or like some type of party or something where you just you celebrate with others, with your friends and family. You're going to have a great time. And I'm also getting like spirit advice from this. So it's like your spirit guys are excited and so happy for you to finally um, have this moment with your person. And then we have the Nine of Rods. And this talks about perseverance and courage, faith. And this is saying that you may have had doubt in the past and you always question if you will you know, meet the person and marry this person. But Spirit is saying that your faith and your courage has allowed you to have this, this caring connection and to develop this union with your person. And so now, it is time to celebrate. It is time to be happy and enjoy this moment. Um, if you do have bridesmaids, it seems like some of you all may have three bridesmaids is what I'm getting. So take that as that resonates as well. It could be sisters. It could be your best friends. Um, yeah. So now let's get into your charms and see what other messages we have. Right, so we have eyeglasses. So either you or your person could wear glasses, or this is just talking about that you finally get to see this happen. You have dreamt about it, you have, you know, fantasized about it, and now it's finally going to be right in front of your face. You're going to be able to see it with your own two eyes, is what I'm getting. Oh, we have the letter E with a little birdie. So your person's name may start with an E or yours may start with an E or last name. Or I'm also getting like E means enjoy. Enjoy this day. Be happy about it. Oh, we have an elephant. And elephants represent strength. They have good memory. They are courageous. So you have been very strong in this connection. You have held on. You've been, you know, hopeful and had the faith. Wow, we have another elephant. Yeah, you two are definitely meant to be together. And your courage and your faith has allowed this connection to happen. If it wasn't for your courage and your faith, it wouldn't have happened. Because someone had to, you kind of know, hold down the connection while the other person was still awakening and you did that you held it down and you were you stuck through it you know um and now you're finally getting that benefit of what you what your you know perseverance um had in store for you and then we have a seahorse and with the seahorse, I'm kind of getting that some of you all may take a honeymoon to like the islands where there are like seahorses, something where the water is like super blue and clear is what I'm getting. And also just like traveling. So you may have a destination wedding. Wow, this is great. So I hope you all enjoyed your reading. Please like, share and subscribe. Feel free to add any comments below. And thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to continue to do more uh, pick-a-pile readings 
about your wedding day and the person you'll marry over time. I might do like a series. And yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed it. Peace, love, and light.